I'm Trevor, the CEO of the SAME Foundation. The donation we received from Intubase helped us in procuring vital, life-saving medical equipment and PPE for Tigerberg and Huitiskia hospitals in the Western Cape. Um, this was while the Western Cape was the epicenter of the pandemic. If you would like to get in touch or assist us in these projects, you can get hold of us on our website, which is www.samefoundation.org.za, Facebook and Instagram or LinkedIn. We're on to race number four now, which jumps at 14.10. It's the www.tabgold.co.za MR77 handicap over 1,600 meters. A total of nine runners carded and no changes to report at this early stage. Not an easy race to assess. The betting is very open here. If you look at number one, Seisura, who is currently trading at around about four to one, has been extremely consistent, as well as number four, Forest Jump, who's trading at around about seven to one. And this one, Graham, number seven, uh, number four, sorry, Forest Jump, holding form and the rating, and it was a good last run behind uh, Mr. Maloney, but I think the value could come in the form of number nine, Victory Twist from the Tony Rivellin Yard. Well, we're into the handicaps, and this card is quite tough as far as the handicaps are concerned. Races four through all the way to the end to race eight. They're all handicaps. We're done with the maiden plates. And, uh, but this is possibly, Devon, I'm going to stick my neck out here and say one of the easier ones to try and unravel when compared to races five through to the end. I do like number nine, Victory Twist. Uh, Tony Rivelin brings his horses to the races in good shape. Worst of the draw, uh, at least Rachel is taking a kilo and a half off the 62, so only got 60 and a half to, to, to carry. But I do respect the chances of number one, Cezura. He knows how to win, looking for his 10th career victory. And if you like Cezura, then you've got to like bend the rules. There's nothing much to choose between them. If you go back to the 14th of November, behind six hot fix, there was absolutely nothing between Bend the Rules and Cezura. If you like Forrest Jump, then you've got to like Tom Zacht a little bit. So I'm kind of narrowing this down to number one, Cezura, number five, Bend the Rules, and number nine, Victory Twist. I realize it's a handicap, and there are certainly others with chances, uh, but those would be the top three. In no particular order, those would be the top three for me. Yeah, I'm in, I'm in full agreement with you, and uh, I think I'm going to have a little bit of an each-way bet on number nine, Victory Twist, twist because when I analyse this race, <clears throat> there are one or two horses that don't have the speed, uh, early speed, and there are one or two that show early speed, so it's a little bit of a 50-50. We're on a seesaw here. I'm hoping that this horse can ping the gates. This is a big, strong son of flying the flag, and Rachel Vinegar is back aboard, takes the one and a half kgs off, and this is a horse that loves to race handy. So what we do know is that uh, number eight, Tom's act can be a little bit sluggish out the gates. Master of Law can show speed. Congo Compact can race handy together with Bend the Rules. So I'm hoping that she can just jump this horse from a wide row and possibly get to the front and, and go start to finish. So just wrapping it up for you, Graham, you're in the camp of all of numbers one, Seisura, number four, Forest Jump, number five, Bend the Rules has also got a chance. Anything else you want to add to that? No, my top three, as I mentioned, was Cesura, Bend the Rules and Victory Twist. Those are the three I'm going with as a shortlist. There you heard it from Graham and my value selection is number nine, Victory Twist. My name is Beston. I live in Cape Town. Also, I do uh, delivery. Interbet helped me to realize my dreams. Now I have my own delivery vehicle and I'm able to do the removal in and around Cape Town.